if somehow we do not get a 3D Mario game this year, after seven years since Odyssey, I'm telling you right now, I'm making a deal with you guys. I will dress as Mario and post a video of me doing everyday life things as Mario for a day. It, it will happen. I will post the video because that's how sure I am. It is officially 2024, everybody. Welcome to the new year. We have officially started. And of course, what better way to start off the year than to talk about one of the biggest things that's rumored and leaked for this year being Super Mario finally coming back to the 3D space. And apparently in an open world fashion. And you guys have heard me talk about this a bajillion times, but now that we're officially in the new year, I felt like it was only right to start the year with the thing that I've talked about the most last year, being 3D Mario. But real quick, because this is important, we reached 42,000 subscribers back in 2022, and then somehow last year we reached a whopping 75 thousand subscribers which is nuts so let's make it even higher this year let's try to reach 100,000 subscribers in just one year so all you gotta do is stop what you're doing leave a like and subscribe as a lot of you guys right now are not yet subscribed let's raise this bar let's see if we can reach this goal together this year you guys are amazing 3d mario time Look, I don't even need to tell you guys how exciting a brand new 3D Mario is because you already know. You know how it feels in the air when you know a big 3D adventure is coming soon and how hype it was to wait for Super Mario Odyssey. It just smells like gravy, baby. Super Mario Brothers Wonder was a surprise last year for sure. Well, c kind of. But it was still a super fun experience. And finally entering the 2D era again without new Super Mario Brothers felt great. It looked different. It played different. It was a new change for 2D Mario for the better. And I couldn't be more happy to get my hands on this. But it ain't my 3D Mario. A.B. 3D Mario truly makes you feel like Mario. Being able to completely control this character in three dimensions, and especially in the open sandbox games like 64, Sunshine, and even Odyssey, it just feels even more special. The fact that the camera's not defined and you're on a linear path and you can't really explore and go do what you want is kind of sad sometimes, even though those games are still a lot of fun, like Mario 3D World and Galaxy are still some of the best Mario games out there. But I think it's safe to say that it's very evident that Nintendo wants to expand on how Mario is played, and they want to open up Mario for more accessibility, allowing us to do and go wherever we want. And it's becoming very evident since Bowser's Fury, where it showed that Nintendo kind of wanted us to go and do whatever we wanted. Of course, there were some sections of Lake Labcat that were blocked off, but overall it's a very open game, allowing us to explore the island as much as we possibly can. And honestly, Bowser's Fury feels like a new style of Mario even compared to 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey. It feels like it's even more open and even less confined than those games, which is kind of crazy, which is now pushing the boundaries of being open world. I mean, just look at how they started off showing Bowser's Fury, showing the world and the landscape all around Mario, kind of showing the enemies thriving in this world and the cats walking around. They really wanted to put emphasis on this is a world world that you get to explore at your own leisure, and it just feels like a mini open world because of that. So yes, obviously after doing this with the Legend of Zelda series with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, this sounds like a pretty big deal for Mario, right? Well, it is. It's actually massive and could actually shape and change what the future of Mario looks like. Now, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are far from realistic. It's a fantasy style game, but still it has realistic looking worlds, mountain ranges, the landscape, even characters at some times outside of the characters that aren't humans. But I do not see a Mario open world looking like this whatsoever. It's gonna be more colorful and more Mario themed. The trees are gonna look a lot faker. The mountains and grass and characters and enemies will look a lot faker compared to what we see with the realism of Zelda. So that is the difference that we're going to get and it's going to look vastly different. And I know a lot of people are afraid that it might feel or be too much like a Zelda clone or a Breath of the Wild clone in that matter, but I just don't see that being the likelihood at all. And I don't see the map being any near as big as those games either. If anything, I see it retaining the art style of Super Mario Odyssey, where there are some areas and kingdoms in that game that do look realistic, like the Metro City, it still has that Mario colorful flair where you can definitely tell you're playing a Mario game compared to something like Zelda or even Metroid. Well, if this game really is going to be a massive open world 3D Mario experience, the question is, what makes me so confident that it's happening this year as compared to maybe 2025? Well, because it has to. 
Okay, so let me be honest. It doesn't have to happen this year. I could definitely see there being a situation where it's the very beginning of 2025. Definitely no later than that. But still, I just feel like it would be insane to approach eight years with no 3D Mario game. And I also think it's about the timing. Right now, it's not really time for any other Nintendo games right now outside of like maybe Donkey Kong and Mario and of course some that really never came to the Switch. Like maybe something Star Fox related or maybe time for Metroid Prime 4, but that's really about it. You know, as far as any other series like Kirby or even Zelda, it's going to be quite a while until we see something else from them, even Mario Kart in general and probably even Smash Brothers. So there's only room for a couple of franchises right now to be a big hit this year, and Mario has to be one of them. In fact, I think it's going to be one of the few. It's either Mario or Donkey Kong in my mind. It just seems like it's got to be time for that 3D Mario to end the year. Whether you want to admit it or not, whether your team Switch Pro or current Switch, it's going to change very soon. The Nintendo Switch is on its legs out, as you can definitely tell by the content that's coming out. It's lots of Switch remakes, remasters, and ports that are coming from past consoles. I mean, look at 2023. There were so many remakes and remasters, and 2024 is definitely no exception. In fact, every single game that we know about this year is going to be some type of remake or remaster with only one brand new game being announced, and that's Princess Peach Showtime, which is probably going to be on the scale of another Yoshi game, which is still kind of small in comparison to something like a big AAA title, like the next big 3D Mario game, a new Zelda, a new Mario Kart, something along those lines. So this year is going to be pretty slow at the start, giving us lots of ports and remasters and games that we've already played before. They're going to want to at least have a huge game towards the end of the year, maybe another one around the summertime, but I'm sure information is coming soon, which then leads me to the fact that if there is a big 3D open world Mario game, and it is launching alongside a new console and this is all happening holiday of this year Nintendo has to reveal this thing and like fast it's also along the lines of like how because I think this is a weird situation for Nintendo this isn't a Wii U situation where they have a dying console and they desperately need to get people's attention to their next console and they have like no games coming out and we're just sitting here patiently waiting with no games no information on the next console and like everybody's eyes are clearly on Nintendo to see what their next move is where this time it, it's not that case because the switch is doing excellent still even on his last legs out it's still selling like crazy and the software is still amazing I mean last year literally being being the sixth year of the Nintendo Switch, still got a new Fire Emblem, a new 2D Mario, a new Legend of Zelda open world experience, and also Pikmin 4. So clearly the Switch ain't done yet. So does Nintendo need to hold a special presentation? Well, at first I was thinking it would be cool to see, but I don't think it's actually going to be the case. I think we're still just going to get a February Nintendo Direct but it's going to be a little different. I don't think it's going to primarily focus on the Nintendo Switch. I think if this is a Switch Pro or a new version of the Switch that's kind of like the next gen hardware, this is something that they could easily announce during a Nintendo Direct, like in the middle and just say, we got new announcement for like something special coming towards the end of this year. And they show off the new hardware and they talk about it for a while. And then they end the show with a big game that's coming with that hardware. So yeah, I'm getting into major specifics right now. I'm saying that the last reveal for this upcoming February Nintendo Direct is going to be the reveal of a brand new 3D open world Mario game that's coming this holiday alongside the new console. Now, honestly, it's just time to see 3D Mario more now than ever. And with all the leaks and rumors and everything coming together, it feels like 2024 is the prime time to finally see Mario back in a 3D experience. So let's just hang on, wait a little while longer, Longer, and within the next month, we should get something. At least see what this Mario game is until we get more leaks or rumors from a credible source. I'm looking at you, PRL.